up guys, welcome to today's YouTube video where today we're actually going to be going nowhere like always because it's a Funko News Friday and basically we're just going to be talking about the leaks and stuff that's coming out which there is some decent sets honestly this week. Not too many crazy sets but three, like about specifically three sets that I care about. So if you guys could make sure to smash the like button and hit the subscription, it helps out the channel immensely. Having a great time if you're making these videos of course and then comment down below what leaks have you guys seen recently that you guys have been just wanting to pick up and we're waiting for them to drop of course. And other than that, that is pretty much everything so let's get right to the basically where I'm sitting and let's get to some Funko news leaks because I'm pretty excited to show you guys what there is. Alright guys so we are here now again it is another obviously Funko news Friday and today we're actually doing obviously like I said Funko news Friday which as you guys saw the thumbnail we do have some really cool leaks. There's actually there was a decent good amount of leaks this week that I'm actually pretty happy with so of course I get through them so the first leak we're going to talk about is going to be Parks and Rec right here with Chris Chris Traeger Andy Andy Radical which is Chris Pratt April Ludgate we have Don't Be Suspicious Gene Ralphio and Mona Lisa and then Ron Swanson. Okay, cool. I don't watch uh, Parks and Rec. I think those are cool enough for people that do watch Parks and Rec that probably think those are great pops. I think there's a lot of Parks and Rec pops, and I do want to watch Parks and Rec at some point in my like time of watching shows, but it just hasn't hit yet. I don't know when we are going to watch that. But this next set of pops is obviously ones that I'm super pumped for. And we got our next set of basketball pops. Paolo Bancaro, Darius Garland, we have Shea Gilgis Alexander, one of my favorite players. I'm excited for that pop. Another Kevin Durant and Nikola Jokic. Nikola Jokic is cool. Kevin Durant, cool, because he is with the Suns jersey. I mean, cool, but if that Shea pop, I mean, it doesn't really look like Shea, but I'm really happy we're getting a Shea pop in general because I really love Shea as a player. One of my favorite. I think he actually is probably my favorite player now. He used to be Paul George, but Paul George just kind of went, you know, kind of lowered on my list a little bit because I'm not really happy with how he plays. He's been choking in the playoffs a lot. But Shea, though, I do like Shea a lot. Shea's a GOAT. I love Shea. He's probably one, probably my favorite player. So I'm, I'm probably going to be picking up that pop. And I'll probably be picking up more of these pops if I do see them in person, of course. Our next set is going to be from Wonder... Wondia? I don't even know how you say that. Comment down below how you say that. Eva 9 with Migo, Otto, and Rovinger Kit. Don't even know what that is. Never even heard of that show. Don't even know what those characters are. But I'm still showing these leaks for you guys, of course. And then I went back to basketball again real quick. And the, again, these are obviously, like you see in the corner, shout out to Scarlet Joker, obviously, Skittle Rampage, Funko Info, and I forgot what the guys in the corner name. Rocco Sire, sorry. Shout out to those guys and also Dish Tracker because that's where I got these leaks from. And some of those early leaks where they already have inbox looks are what we're looking at versus these are just the pops themselves. And funny enough, when I was going to make this video, I swear last night I saw leaked pictures of the new One Piece pops of like Sanji when he's spinning with hard eyes. The Nami holding the straw hat. And I was like, okay. And then I think it was one of the Admiral Pops, I thought. But then I went back to the to make this video and I couldn't find them. So I don't know if they got taken down or they just weren't supposed to post those, whatever. But I did see those leaks. Don't know when we're going to be getting those, but they look really nice. So just know we're getting some poster pre-time skip One Piece Pops, which I'm super pumped for. Because I definitely was more, more of my style. Because the more I'm watching, obviously, these are getting... I'm getting closer to those making sense. But... For the time being, I do like the pre-time skip ones because I've already seen it. So I actually can pick those up and talk about it. Because I like when I have a pop, I can talk out to you guys. Because then I can talk about it. And it makes more sense for what I'm explaining to you guys. Versus just like having to, like, I bought this pop because, you know, it's one piece. But I haven't gotten that far yet. But back to our theme of this video. Back to um, basketball. We have some more Mavericks. Or not Mavericks. Which is funny, not Mavericks. But uh, more pops for mascots. And we have the Dallas Maverick, like, uh, horse. And I do not know what the Miami Heat mascot is. Miami Heat is my favorite team, but I have no idea what that mascot is. I comment down below what it is. It looks like a dude wearing a basketball and, like, nose. But the Dallas Mavericks, cool. I do want to go back and get all the original or, like, all the mascots and just kind of see if I can get them all. But I think the first one you have to pick up is the Seattle Supersonics, I believe. Comment down below. I think that's the first uh, Maver mascot pop. I keep saying Maverick because he's Maverick. Then the next set we have over here is going to be Terrifier Pops. And I think it's supposed to be... I think his name is Art the Clown, I believe. Don't quote me. I haven't really watched these movies too often. But it's like him holding an, him holding a weapon. I see a bloodied version, and then I see a him riding a tricycle. So pretty cool, I guess. Not gonna be picking those up, but I think this is also from Red Dawn, I believe. And I have no idea who these characters are. I just see the pops, but I'll put them up there anyways for you guys to see. If you guys, I have no idea who these guys are, and I believe it is from Red Dawn. Comment down below if I'm wrong. And then right here we have some new John Wick four pops with the John Wick, and then I forgot this guy's name. I want to say it's Constantine, but I don't think it's Constantine. That that might be someone else. But it's basically the guy, his friend during the whole, well, was his friend during the whole movies of 1 through 3, I guess, or 1 through 2. 
And it really wasn't even, like, his friend, but he's the guy that runs the hotel. But by the fourth one, it's like, okay, yeah, he's... But then they also made a spin-off show of him. It, it's, it's cool, I guess, but I'll be picking those up because I love the John Wick set of Pops. And why not get more John Wick Pops? Over here, we have Wednesday Adams, which I never saw the show, but I know that's Wednesday. A girl with pink hair. A girl in a blue dress. And then, I don't know, a girl wearing glasses. Don't know anything about these Pops because uh, the fact is that I have no idea who those characters are. So... There are a lot of these characters that are like, I have no idea who they are, because it's just, without seeing an inbox look, I can't really tell you guys what they are, but nonetheless, obviously the next pop we do have is going to be an elf on the shelf, or, el yeah, it's supposed to be a shelf. I wonder if you're able to touch that pop, funny enough, if, if you guys know what the elf on the shelf lore is, is the fact that you're not supposed to touch them, they're supposed to travel around your house and give you goodies, or be like Santa's watchers, so it's funny we have a pop version, because I wonder if people are going to take that out of box, because technically you're not supposed to touch it, so that's a really, uh predicament people are gonna have with Funko Pops then obviously the best set that I've been waiting for today is obviously this one right here and that is going to be the yes, Cross of Spider-Verse new wave with we have Miguel O'Hara where he looks like he's lunging with red eyes looks absolutely phenomenal then you have Mayday Parker upside down right there then next to that you have the unmasked uh Prowler mask or not uh, Prowler unmasked um Bobby Brown or Spider-Punk I'm getting mixed up and that looks perfect. That looks awesome. I'm, I couldn't get a regular Spider-Punk, so I definitely will try to get that one. And then we have a Prowler from 2099. I believe that's 2099. And that looks great. And that's super cool pop. Four pops that we I feel like actually look pretty nice. We need these for the collection, of course. Then, of course, the final leak we do have for today. Not too many leaks. I tried to go kind of quick because there's a lot of them. And that's going to be the Gundam pops, I guess. And it's RX782 Gundam and then MS065 Charzaku 2. No idea what this show is. No idea what this is even from, but they look like mecha robots, basically. Mecha robots, basically. Nothing about those pops. I have no idea. Um, I just saw them. I thought it was cool to show, I guess. But that is every leak we did have for this week. Comment down if there's anything you guys are trying to buy from like what you guys have been seeing in these comments or these Fungo News Fridays. Of course, I'm definitely being those Spider-Man ones and definitely the basketball ones. I don't know about the rest of the sets. Maybe and the drama ones, I guess. So three sets. Better than usual, because usually these weeks, I don't really have anything I even want from those leaks. But I do want those. And, of course, that is everything we do have for today. Like I said, if we hit 800, I do have a special, like, surprise we're going to talk about. But we have to wait till we hit 800. And then we'll talk about it, because it's going to be a big thing we're going to deal with. But you have to hit 800 first to hear about it, of course. But, nonetheless, that is everything we do have for today. I do have a really cool art short tomorrow, of course, and I'll try to get out earlier. I've been hard, you know, I've been, it's been hard trying to, like, draw out, like, the pictures quick enough, and so I'm getting out kind of late, but I do still want to get them out earlier if I can. It's just kind of hard, like you guys know, to draw the pictures and then color fast, but nonetheless, that is everything for today, so I'll see you guys tomorrow, and yeah, peace.